Hello, charting the uncharted tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Uncharted Waters tubers. Un un just one, actually, technically. Uh, last episode, we traveled to Mecca, all the way around Africa, and today we are going to try... Oh, I don't have a whole lot of storage space. Uh, we'll be fine. We're just going to max out as much food as we can. Um, we're going to try to make it to Japan today. I wish we had more cargo space than we have, because there's so much good stuff to buy while we're out here having fun. But, um, the good news is there's usually quite a lot of, um, there's a lot of ports along the way. I don't need, like, a year's supply of food. If you want to do the Russian Arctic trip, you definitely would need, uh, I think at least one or two hundred days of food. But we're going the more interesting route around, uh, Asia. Alright. Mecca, that was fun. Everyone has fun in Mecca. That's supposed to be a joke. Ah! Oh, there's too much wind. Also, note how there's no, um... What was I going to say? There's no storms here. It's nice and safe. Alright, so now we're heading... I don't know what this is going to be. Is this, uh... Somewhere kind of Iraq-ish? West... Maybe Persia? I don't know. There's a lot of little countries along here that I don't remember. Aden. Hmm. Okay. Well, a quick look in Aden, see what they've got. Not that I have any room for anything. They have cheap car quartz and more expensive carpets than the last place. Well, we've already got quartz and carpets, so I'm not sticking around here. No sailors, no waitresses. Sounds like a lousy city to me. Oops. Just sail. Can you sail around India in 38 days? Probably. Also, in case you're wondering, we're not going to Australia. Australia is totally empty. Just like it is after the apocalypse. Just a giant desert. Yeah, now that Mecca is full of guns, it's not going to be quite so friendly for the next uh, European visitors. Let's look at my map. Oh, there's a port here. Well, we'll check that out too. Hmm. Okay, now we're on the... Yeah, we didn't make it to Persia yet. We were still circling around the, uh, the Gulf of Arabia. This is going to be, like, Oman or something? Muscat. Is that is that a city in, in Oman? It's another pretty bad port, though. Just have a couple drinks, check in with the trader, and then move along. We're, we're exploring. We're explorers. They don't have anything worth buying. This stuff is all way too cheap for us to travel all the way here from Portugal to buy. I think, I think the only thing that really makes sense, if you're going to travel this far away from sort of your home, you have to be picking up, like, expensive goods. You know, picking up, you know, 5,000 cargo supply worth of cheap cotton, it's just not going to make you all that much money. So you should be aiming for like gold, silver, artwork's pretty good, quartz, coral, all the nice stuff, all the niceties in life. Hormuz! I figure these ports deserve being checked at least once. I will probably never ever dock in any of these again other than like a couple of the ones that had interesting goods. Hey, we found Anmul. This guy will join. I've never met this guy before. I have no idea what he's like. Oh yeah, the King of Portugal is looking for us. Most of our tips we're going to get these days are just the King of Portugal wants you. I don't think that quest will disappear. Let's have a look at Anmul. He's a very low level, probably Turkish uh, captain. 
Strength and intelligence are reasonable. Courage, wisdom, pretty low. Not really my favorite. I guess if you got him to join up really early on in the game, he'd be okay. Kind of like some of our other low-level characters. But, um, we're not keeping him around. Had a couple nights in Hormuz. You guys had fun. Did it, was there anything to buy here? I forget. Or... There's pimentos! How could we... How could we go through here without buying some pimentos? I don't think they're going to be worth very much money, but, um... Here, have some guns. I hear you like guns. And, uh... We're going to just bring home some weird stuff that I normally don't have. Some pimentos. I'm interested in how much they will be worth back in Europe. Because... Spices tend to be very expensive in Europe, and this is why you would sail around to the Indies. And there's a lot of things like this that I've never really traded in in this game, because once you're rich, you don't really need to. The real purpose of this journey is to gain fame by um, finding all of the ports. Like that. I don't even think you need to dock there. I think all you have to do is see it on the map, and suddenly you're good. Baghdad! That sounds like a good city. You never know, we can always check the uh, special items dealer. Yeah, they have the cool stuff too, but no swords. So there's a waitress in Baghdad. Pretoria? Yeah, that's probably all she's going to tell us. I assume we're still maxed out on crew, yeah. I haven't checked that in a while. Yeah, I know. Everyone knows that the King of... The King of Portugal is going to be so mad at us. He must have just told, like, thousands of people to sail to every port in the world and tell them that he's looking for Blue Anculo. Cheap artwork. Other than that, nothing too much I would really bother with. 26 days is still a long time. Seeing as we're finding a new port every, like, week right now. Okay. Big Dad. See you later. Who will we arm with guns next? I guess... 1500 era uh, guns are probably not that amazing. We're probably giving them pretty bad muskets. They're just as likely to blow themselves up as the enemy, but they sound big and loud and scary, right? We found Dew? I think it's a U. I have no idea what this is in uh, real life. They got no waitresses. They got no sailors. They were actually using those muskets until World War Two over there. World War One over there. Well, it's because I sold them all these really amazing firearms. I <laughs> they picked them up in the early 1500s. Well, I'm sorry you hate your my stream times. But, uh... Time is what time is. And I can't stream at 2 in the morning very often. My time. Alright. Well, Dew seems pretty boring, so we'll say adieu to Dew. Oops. There's always going to be someone that's not happy with my choice of times for stream. There's no, there's no one magic time that I can pick. We still got lots of food. That's that's the thing. Just you got to keep in mind. Just because it's inconvenient for you, doesn't mean there's any way I can pick a way that is perfect for everyone. Goa. Hmm. Lots of levels up though. Twenty-four hour stream. That's that's perfect. I'll get a face cam so that once I pass out, you can see me snoring away, not playing the game. 
Okay, we've already got the dragon icon. As much as I'm sure some of you guys would like me to buy some more nymph amulets, I can't. You're only allowed to have one. And you can't even give them to the princess. Hey! We found another waitress! Lucetta! If you would just talk about something other than the king, I would probably spend a lot of time with you. Yeah, if you just want to talk about other men, I'm not going to spend any time here. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't hang around waitresses that just talk about, uh... <laughs> That's it, Bing. <laughs> the, but she only talks about the king! That's, that's not appropriate. <laughs> she should be asking about our adventures. Alright. This is the, probably the cheapest cotton I've ever seen. I wonder what kind of ships you could actually get in these kind of places. They won't really... I was thinking, like, it'd be cool to see how small of a ship they'll actually build you in Goa. But, uh... <laughs> Thanks, Shminchkin. <laughs> so, the King of Portugal wants to see her, or she wants to see the King of Portugal? Is that perhaps how it's phrased? Something was lost in the translation, basically, I think. Can't blame them. How many English or slash Portuguese speakers would these guys have met by 1505? No one circumnavigated the globe that early, did they? I thought that was like late 1500s. Maybe even early 1600s. Calicut sounds interesting. Yeah, you have to imagine I'm, I'm running around talking, everywhere, talking to everyone in Portuguese. We already have these two again. Everyone has shining amulets and dragon icons here. There you go, Schminchkin. Pritha. I'm sure she would like to see the King of Portugal. Let's let's give her like a hundred bucks. I don't know. I don't know how much it costs around here. So. There you go. All right. Let's, let's continue on. Hey, there actually are people you could try to recruit here. El Huena? Never seen that guy before. And Vincent. Or not actually Vincent, but Vicente. There you go. Maybe he's cool. Let's go check out his stats. That's a ripoff from an Indian girl. <laughs> Alright, so Al Huena, you are a actually pretty decent all-rounder on stats. Unfortunately, your face portrait looks really stupid. You got these weird little mustache thingamajiggers. So you're not allowed on the team. Even though you have a blue bandana, you're, the rest of it's not good enough. And then Vicente, Vicente. I remember recruiting this guy before in um, other games. But look at his horrible intelligence. This guy is, like, dumb as rocks. Just trying to keep floor friendly. <laughs> Thanks, Minchkin. I appreciate that. She was happy to see us after whatever happened last night. Anyway, I'd rather see uh, Conrad talking to us than that guy. There you go, Pritha. Let's get her up to the next level, at least. We'll never forget you. Except that it's unlikely we're ever coming to Calicut again, but... You know. Do you think they sell anything good here? Oops, not, not us sell. Them sell. They sell pepper! For nothing. They just give it away. I bet you you buy it for nothing here and sell it for like a hundred back in Portugal. I bet ya. I just want to buy a little bit so we can see what it's worth later on. Keep getting her up a level. <laughs> what base are we up to yet? Oops. 
Alright, we should be good for a while. Sure, the King of Portugal. <laughs> yeah, you know Twitch chat. It's how it always goes, right? Are we in Thailand yet? Is that is that where we are? I I I don't know where we are. I know we were sailing around India, but uh Let's look at the land map here to get a better idea. Well, that doesn't help much. Maybe we are in Southeast Asia and we're right getting close to Malaysia now. Or Indonesia, at the very least. Cochin? My, my geography's not good enough. I don't know where Cochin is. I've heard the name, but I don't know where we are. They have grain. Cochin is no good. No waitresses. Bendetto. I don't want that guy. Sounds like a jerk. Let's get out of here. We're, we're taking a really long time to get to Japan because I'm exploring every single town we go to. <laughs> well, we're not doing it personally, Sunneef. We're getting the, uh, the crew members to do it. Ceylon. Oh, I know where we are again. Southern tip of India. They had a really bad uh, tsunami here a few years ago. Hmm, nothing really good here. Probably sell us some pepper. I betcha. Cinnamon! Ooh! Ooh. All right, let's try to make some space. I need, I need some room for some cinnamon. How would you guys like some guns? You really like them a lot, obviously. Well, we're not going to have a lot of room for cinnamon, but I'm still bringing some cinnamon. So remember that when we go back to Europe, cinnamon and pepper were both basically free. Like... You could sail here with 10,000 gold, load up as much as you possibly want, and then go back to Europe. If it's worth a lot back in Europe. Alright, the bars are getting pretty boring, but uh, we're finding some interesting trade goods, at least. Yeah, the English will be real happy. The tea continues to improve. All right, so let's head up towards uh, Bengal, I guess. I don't want to risk exploring the uh, Indonesia. Well, Ceylon is actually a ways away, but there are like a few islands, like uh, Christmas Island and uh, various things like that. So you got lots of food and water. Oh, you mean the English will be happy that we gave the Indians gov guns? <laughs> oh, they'll get over it. Okay, you got another uh, river up there, but I uh, I wouldn't recommend sailing up it because it's probably just a waste of time. Oh, that's kind of a dead end. I don't know exactly where this bit of geography is, to be honest. No ports here. Your dude with the telescope, your lookout, finds them pretty quick. As such. Malacca. Okay. Sounds like somewhere interesting. More cheap pepper. I will buy a little bit more. This actually gets us to a nice even hundred. How would you like some guns, Malacca? Look at all the cool stuff we've got. Carpets. Pimentos. Peppers. Lots of... Well, two guns, huh? <laughs> two guns is all they get. 
my dude with the telescope. <laughs> hey, it's hard. It's hard to stream and talk and play video games all at the same time. It's a tough job. Hey, look! My intelligence and wisdom. We got our first stat up to 100 there. That's pretty awesome. You aren't a sailor unless you get a girl at each of these ports. I'm trying. Actually, what I wanted to look at is what's my fame? My fame has, like, doubled on this adventure, yeah. I think if you're trying to finish the game quickly, the best bet is to just load up... Once you've made a bit of money and, ha and built big ships, you just do on a world, a world cruise and, um... A world tour, perhaps, is the word. And make sure you find all the ports. I think that gives you more than enough fame. 16 days will be fine. It, it is funny because I'm saying we're finding pimentos and peppers. When I say pepper, I think they mean, like, peppercorn is in the black pepper. Not, like, green or red peppers or whatever you have. So, there will be some islands... Yeah, okay, I know where we are. There might be some stuff down here. I don't know, we're kind of in the Spice Islands if we go this way, but I don't know how many ports the game added around this area. I mean, there could be islands anywhere, there could be ports anywhere down here. This isn't really where I wanted to hang out. So we'll just check this one out, and maybe on the way back we'll, we'll circle around. Java, yeah, Java sounds good. We're gonna go pick up some coffee for sure. Mostly we're trying to get to Japan, but, uh, you know, it's nice to look around while we're here. Mentos or cherry peppers, alright. I'll take you guys' words for it. More pepper. More pepper for basically free, too. Alright, I'm gonna try to speed along. This episode's been dragging on. I've been trying to get to Japan this episode, and I feel like I'm gonna end this I'm gonna end this section of the stream pretty soon, so I wanna at least I wanna at least achieve our goal. As much as there are some more ports we could probably find probably around here. So let's sail up towards China. There could be some ports along here by, like, uh, Vietnam or whatever. Whatever they called it back here. Dai Nam or something, wasn't it? I think. This is probably a dead end. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. So I'm pretty sure we'll be able to find Beijing. And maybe Hong Kong. This is likely somewhere close to Hong Kong. Daneng, never mind, we still got a ways to go. <laughs> Not nearly far enough north. Oh, this is a horrible port! At least you can see a different tile set, but uh, Daneng is no good. Welcome to Asia, though. We're in now proper Asian ports. What do you think this will be? Macau, okay, okay. This place looks a little bit more interesting, right? Got lots of vases and stuff. Golden bracelet, Chinese sword. Give me the loots. Now we can give the golden bracelet to our, our girlfriend. She will love it. Sweet! Also, it's something for us to spend our money on so we can make up more room in our, uh, in our ships. Everyone's named Ping. I should play, um... Oh, what's that name? This old Nintendo game, um... 
porcelain! Oh, pearls! I want all this stuff! <laughs> I want to bring all of this back to Europe! How much do you guys pay for gold? You pay a lot for gold, wow. Well, we're gonna arm the Chinese today, I think. Here you go. I've just got too much money. Let's bring back, like, a hundred pearls. Just so we say we brought some. And... I, I don't think... No, wait, we can buy porcelain back in Europe. Porcelain, it's cheap here, but we can get it other places. It's not, it's not unique. But pearls are a little bit more unique. There's no Chinese girls here, unfortunately. Suddenly blue causes the Boxer Rebellion. Oh no! That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Alright. 17 days, plenty of food. No, the Boxer Rebellions can't happen until... They're trying to stop them from westernizing. Isn't that the rule for Victoria 2? Uh, that's... No, that can't be Ryuku. That's, uh, Taiwan, right? Taiwan. I know where we are. Which is Taiwan. There's some geography major watching these videos just screaming at me every time I get, uh, geography... Get, uh, every time I name an island wrong, they're just freaking out. I can just... I can hear them. Zayton? Hmm. Shows what I know about geography. I do like the fact that the the, uh, the civilians look a little different in every port. Somebody spent a lot of time drawing all the artwork for these guys, and I bet you most people that played the game never went here. <laughs> you win the game in Europe and never leave it. <laughs> okay, they got raw silk. Lots of artwork, porcelain, normal silk. I have no idea what really the difference for trade goods are. Someone spent a lot of time, like, you know, making all these goods for these places. To, well, probably the amount of time it takes to add a line of trade value is considerably less than the artwork for pixel design. Um, you know what? I don't really need this artwork because we can buy it back in Europe. So you take that and I want to bring back some silk. Even if it's cheap. There isn't enough room? What? Okay, hold on. Buy... For this ship... Some silk? I'm confused. Oh! There's a maximum on how many different types of cargo you can have on the same ship. That's not a problem I've run into very often. Pearls, silk... Okay, let's... I almost need to sell some stuff at a loss just to make some more room. I need to get rid of all that artwork so we can trade something else here. Uh, we definitely have problems for storing stuff. Well, I want to bring a little bit of raw silk. I just want to see how much this stuff is worth back in Europe. I don't think I've ever brought, in, brought most of this back home with me is the thing. Right, we've already bought all this stuff. We're not allowed to buy multiple gold bracelets, only one at a time. Oh, there we go! Meeting all the new ladies. Schminchkin was waiting for this. Mei Lang. She, even she wants to see the King of Portugal. Word's been getting around about our King of Portugal. Seems like that's all she can talk about, honestly. We have to get her a little bit happier, though, before we leave. It's important. Alright, there we go. It's good enough. Alright, 
continuing continuing our travels to Japan. I also like the fact that there are different kinds of boats here, like actually Chinese looking boats, but you can never get them because our amazing European vessels are so much better, probably. I mean, we actually have cotton sails. It counts for something. Okay, we're not going up there. Hey! All right, now I have, to, I have to pay attention here to where Japan is. This is not Japan, but I am going to check this little bay out. Nothing here? I'm not going up any rivers right now. Waste of time. If we play Uncharted Waters 2, the rivers are far more interesting. I would say all around Uncharted Waters 2 is probably better, but this game is more nostalgic for me because I played it originally, when I was a kid. Younger. Seems like we've exhausted most of the ports. Now we're all gonna starve to death. Where the heck are we? Three days of food, oh no. Have we gone all the way past? Is this northern Japan? If that's the case, going further north into, like, Mongolia is a bad idea. I bet you it is. I bet you this is this is where we want to go. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're out of food. We're out of food, and I'm on the wrong side of this island. Uh oh. We might be about to die, and that's the end of the food for reals. Oh no! I didn't save it even. It's been a long time since I saved it. I'm a little bit worried here. Pretty sure this is supposed to be Japan, though. There should be a port one area south of here. Don't starve, crew. You're okay. One to west. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! We can't go very far without food. Especially when you're out of water. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, there's a port. We're on the wrong side. Come on, guys. You're almost there. Don't starve. Don't mess around here, Blue. Let's go north. Okay. We're totally fine. Nagasaki. This is what we were looking for. I uh, went a little bit too far north. Ooh, I wonder how many crew we lost due to starvation there. So don't go north enough that it turns temperate. Stay in the... Um, what's it called? Stay in the tropical zone. Also, these guys do look different than the Chinese artwork, right? It's a little different. Hi there! Hello, Uharu. Oharu? It's almost Uhura. Even she wants to see the King of Portugal. <laughs> we could find Bendito. Bendito's been following us around. I wonder if he brought some food with him. Anyway, um, we lost a nearly half our crew to starvation. It's, uh, it's pretty standard for the uh, explorers, I hear. It will cost more to recruit people here, I believe, than back home. But there's an endless supply as long as you've got the money. Go bang a Japanese girl. Well, first I want to have a look at their um, at their uh, goods. We ate half the crew. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, silver for almost nothing is going to be worth a ridiculous amount back home. Right, there's no room because there's like a piece of art sticking out of the way. We all know martial arts now. <laughs> Alright, you take that art, just get rid of it. I know we actually sold that for a loss, it's fine. Alright, there's our silver. Now the whole idea here was to sell them guns, but I actually don't have the cargo space to really do this properly. Because guns are worth so much more than um, anything that they can sell us. So what you should have done is travel to Nagasaki with one boat full of guns, and then just bring silver back.
It will be worth tons once we go home. Um, was there anything else? Well, we're gonna need some room for some, uh... Surprisingly, quartz is very valuable here, too. Um, we're gonna need some room for some food and stuff, so we don't continue to die. There we go. 100, 100, 100 for stats. Level 15 sailor, ridiculous amounts of fame. Even our... Oh! Because we were starving, the loyalty went down for a bunch of these people. That's right. Alright, I'm gonna have to pay them off. We're gonna end the episode here, but uh, I wanna stock my crew up. Or stock my ships up with some food and water. I guess we don't have a whole lot of room due to fill it up with goods, but... Seventeen days will be enough. We can just hop port to port without a whole lot of problems. As long as I don't mess around going around Russia or anything, or try to go to, you know, North America. Sail crossing the Pacific would be a horrible idea right now. But, uh, basically I need to pay off some, uh, some of my men here. Here you go, Jose. Stay, stay happy, my friend. We don't want these guys to basically mutiny. Fatten up now for the next time we run out of food. That's good. I technically could have, um... This is a mechanic I haven't actually shown yet. You can, um... Well, for one, you can you can go ashore and find water. You can also change the, um, rations. And instead of eating, whatever, one man for... T one, one food for one man for 20 days, you can decrease that to much longer... Much less food for much longer. But, uh, you risk... You risk other problems. I want to get everyone up to 100. I have ridiculous amounts of money. I mean, they know that I have millions of dollars, so we might as well get these guys all happy here. I'm giving them probably more money than they need, but it's okay. What I might do is go back to Nagasaki, sell some more firearms after I get revolver of our cash here. I'll even give some to Conrad, who doesn't even have a ship. He went up to like 95, I think. I think the difference in level uh, affects how much money you get. So like, or not, sorry, words failed me completely. The difference in your character's level slash charisma versus the captain that you're trying to raise the loyalty of affects how high it goes up. So. If you are a high-level character giving money to a low-level captain, their loyalty will go up much easier. Sorry, sorry, Hurst. Here we go. The problem with, with Japanese art is it's it's basically just, um... It's just silver. <laughs> That's all they got. But we can sell some more guns. And pick up... I actually have a fair bit of silver. I wish I could carry more. I would have to just drop the gun somewhere. There we go. I mean, we did meet with a, a, a lovely Japanese waitress, so we'll, 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 we'll max out Oharu, and then we'll call it an episode here. And then I guess next time we'll have to travel back to Portugal, because apparently that's where we need to go. Actually, wait, I have a great idea. Hold on. We're gonna spend some money. I have a great idea. Let's improve Nagasaki. This way, we can give them more guns! We're also going to invest in the port, so they can build real ships. <laughs> also, that should make um, 
the port more friendly to the Portuguese. So just like that, we're making friends with the, with Japan. <laughs> I forgot you can always just give away money so you can uh, save some room on your ship, basically. And then have more guns. Invest in Japanese art. Well, the thing is, what I was thinking primarily, although we'd have to waste a bunch of time to actually see it. Um, I'm holding firearms. Yeah, let's get rid of these. Um, although you have to wait a while for the investment to actually sort of kick in. Um, there is probably a third or fourth thing they can sell here that you have to invest to unlock. And uh, if we ever travel back later on, maybe we'll maybe we'll be able to do that. But uh, I would have to wait around till December first if I wanted to continue growing Nagasaki. It's probably a good idea if you're just messing around in the game late on later on. And I believe you might get um, actual fame for building up ports like that. Like when the month ticks over and Nagasaki sort of grows, you probably get fame for that as well. So you can just sort of change money into fame. But uh, I kind of forgot about that. Anyway, I think it's time to end the episode, although we'll double check. We'll have a little bit more food and water. Because next episode we're just going to zip back to Europe. I'm not going to really spend much more time over here. It's fun, but I want to start wrapping up the game before too much longer. Actually, more importantly, I want to switch to a combat fleet fairly soon. We spent a long time just trading. And as much as there's lots of more things to do, just building up cities and having fun, it's time to sink some enemy fleets. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching YouTube. See you guys next time.